Creditors often protect themselves with contract provisions that compel full payment of a debt before the original due date if the debtor makes even one late payment. But as J.R. Hale Contracting Company v. United New Mexico Bank at Albuquerque demonstrates, these acceleration clauses have limits. Over 11 years, United New Mexico Bank at Albuquerque extended numerous credit lines to J.R. Hale Contracting. Whenever Hale didn't pay on time, which occurred often, United sent reminders instead of declaring default. Then, in November of 1982, United extended another credit line to Hale for $400,000. The note required Hale to make the first and only interest payment by March 1st and pay the balance by July 31st. The note also included a default clause entitling United to accelerate payment of the entire balance without notice if Hale failed to pay on time. Throughout March, Hale met with United several times to discuss possibly borrowing more money. Meanwhile, Hale didn't make the interest payment, but United didn't mention the delinquency in the meetings. Instead, United gave Hale a letter demanding immediate payment of the entire loan balance on March 24th. Hale then offered to pay the past due interest. But United refused Hale's offer and collected $400,000 plus interest by withdrawing from Hale's accounts and collecting directly from Hale's customers. Hale sued United for wrongful acceleration, arguing that United's conduct voided the default clause. United moved for a directed verdict, and the trial court granted the motion based on the note's explicit language. Hale appealed to the New Mexico Supreme Court.